You know, he just think he just here to do what he wants. Huh? Play the lottery. It don't work like that. Who got the Hebrews 4 and 12? Hebrews 4, verse 12. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than a two-edged sword. Sharper than any two-edged sword. Huh? Come on. Person even to divine the soul and spirit and to the joints and to the barrel. Right. right. And is a descender. A discerner. A discerner of the thoughts. And of the heart. It's a discerner of the thoughts and the intentions of your heart. So when the word come out and you hear people say, ah, nah, 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 they get to stuttering like a Uzi, you know it's spirit on. Because that word discerns the thoughts and the intentions of your heart. It's just what it is. All right, so let's read the commandments. Brother wanted to hear the commandments. Don't even pull it. Whatever you got, pull it. Psalms 147, verse 15. He sendeth forth his commandments upon the earth. His word ruined very swiftly. We read on down to his, 20. Keep reading. Keep reading. He sent forth his commandments upon the earth. His word runneth very swiftly. He giveth snow like wool. He scattereth in hoar first. He scattereth in hoar frost he, like ashes. He scattereth the hoar frost like ashes. That's how powerful the Lord is, he man. He casteth forth his ice like, like, like morsels. He can stand before the cold. He sendeth out the word and melted them. He sendeth out the word and melts them. Mm. He caused his wind to blow and the waters to flow. He showeth the word unto Jacob. He showeth his word unto who? Jacob. The word of God came to the children of Israel in which you are. If you if you are descendant of the transatlantic slave trade out here, you descend out of the 12 lost tribes of Israel. That's right. That's what we are to tell you and that your God is on his way and you got next. But you got to be doing what the protocol says. Now, you ain't just going to get in just because you descend from these people. You need to be doing what does say of the Lord. Exactly. So you can get in. Come on, bro. Keep reading, keep reading, keep reading. His statutes and his judgments are to Israel. Right. He have not dealt so with any nation. He ain't gave his law, statutes, and commandments to nobody else. He gave them to us. Come on, huh? And that's he just and that's his and that's for his judgments, they have not known them. Right. Praise ye the Lord. Alright, let's get to Exodus chapter 20, 10 commandments. Uh, yeah. Exodus chapter 20, verse 1. And God spake all these words. No, man spoke. No. God spake all these words. No, no, no. Moses spoke. God and God spake all these words. Come on. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee. Out of the land of Egypt, right? Out of the house of bondage. Egypt was symbolic for slavery for the ancient Israelites. Our people. We was bond. We was held as slaves in physical Egypt. This is another Egypt right here. House of bondage. Come on now. Thou shall have no other gods before me. So commandment one, where the brother at? What's commandment one, brother? What's commandment one? We just read. Read it again, brother. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Commandment one is what? Have no other gods before the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That means if you are serving in this God right here, you can't be involved in the worship of no other God. For example, December 25th just passed and everybody swore that's Christmas and that's Jesus' birthday. But that can't be found in the Bible nowhere. That's the worship of another God. You see that? Come on, brother. Verse three. Yeah. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any engraven image or any likeness of anything that is in the heavens above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the waters under the earth. See that? So no graven images. That's, that's setting up another god. An idol. And what's attached to that idol was idolatry. Uh, those are idols on the top of that building up there. You see them? Them crosses and all that. That's an idol. Attached to that is a worship. Sunday, Sabbath, Christmas, Easter egg. Well, you know buddies don't lay no eggs. So we Easter eggs, buddies. And you don't know that's the ritual to another god. You're violating the first commandment. That's right. Having other gods before. That's right. See that? Ah, come on, huh? Verse 5, thou shalt not bow down thyself, thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God. Am a what? Am a jealous God. The God you serve is jealous. He mean, look, you, in other words, he, he our husband, we his wife. 
We are not be flirt with no other gods, period. Point blank in the story. What's that? Uh, matter of fact, grab it. That's uh, Wisdom of Solomon uh, 14, verse 9 through 12. One of the brothers got it. I got mine in that black bag. We want black bag. Here. But grab it. I can got it. I can got it. Okay. 14, 9 through 12 about the spiritual fornication. Come on, brother. Same Bible. Same Bible. Yeah. Visiting the iniquities of the fathers upon the children until the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Of mm. them that hate the Lord. So you hate him if you ain't keeping his commandments. He say he gonna punish you and your children to the third and fourth generation. Ooh. Meaning you start a vicious cycle that your children repeat. Huh? Then you they grow up and become rebellious old folk. And they pass that poison off to their children. And the Lord said that thing will take three or four generations to clear up. Mm. To brothers in this generation rising up saying, hey, yup, you know what? Mama love you. I can't have no parts of that no more. She that? Come on, bro. And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. And do what? And keep my commandments. One more time. And keep my commandments. So for y'all don't know the love of God in the Bible is the keeping of his commandments. It's the only way to love him. Only. Huh? It's the only way to love him. Only way. You can't say I, I, I love you, dog, but then you turn around and snake him. Right. Try to mack his woman or something. Right. 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 <laughs> love is auction. You right. feel me? Right. So what you mean you love somebody, but then you gonna burn false witness on him or something? Yeah. See that? And then most of the people out here just because it's food. But like Christ say, labor not for that food that perish, man. That's right. Exactly. That ain't gonna get you into the kingdom. That's right. We just out here because we love our people, but we really out here to deliver this word to you to let you know what time it is. That's right. Because that's what you're going to need to get into the kingdom, no matter how many turkey sandwiches you ate. That's right. That don't even matter. You laboring for that meat that burns. All right, come on, now. Verse 6. And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments, that thou shalt not take my name, thy the name of the Lord thy God in vain. For the Lord will not hold them guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Name, the name of God, the name means authority. It comes from the Hebrew word sham, but shim, it means character or authority. When you taking the authority or the character of the Lord as if it's worthless. You're taking his word in vain. Like it means nothing. You didn't figure it out. Huh? See, once you really get to applying these commandments and understanding, you see, hold on, they ain't even teaching this up in the so-called church. They don't even get taught. That's right. They just tell you, you ain't even, Jesus died, you just believe and you cool. That ain't what the Lord himself said. Don't even say that. He said, if you want in, you better be doing what's right. But that's too much for the brothers today because he feel, he just, uh, I can just do what I want. Where you read that at? The Lord ain't come and take that beating for you to do what you want to do and play See, see, that's what I'm saying. Something totally different once you get into it. And that's how you know that he, uh, no need for the devil to tamper with the Bible. You already believe in stuff ain't in there anyway. Right. right. Uh, right. You believe bunnies lay eggs and this can't even be found in the Bible. Right. Jesus told you how long he was going to be in the grave, three days, three nights. You still caught up in good Friday night to Sunday morning. Right. <laughs> you can't get three days and three nights from that. They done brought you a whole nother worship. Come on, bro. You know bunnies don't lay. Snakes and lizards lay eggs, not bunnies. You know better. Come on, bro. Verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day. Remember what? Remember the Sabbath day. The Sabbath day is the seventh day, and it was ordained at creation. Seventh day of the week on every calendar around the world, y'all, is Saturday. It ain't the day Sunday everybody in church. The Bible said remember the Sabbath day. That's yesterday. That's right. From Friday evening to Saturday evening. That's right. Everybody up in church talking about keep the commandments. You are you you're already in violation of commandment four. Right. Oh well I got my own Sabbath day. Where you read that at? That's their own private interpretation. From old to new testament, you read you got your own Sabbath day. What else is it written at? <laughs> huh? God got rules. Like if you got a house, you got rules. Like the police got rules on the street. You feel me? Red light, stop. Stop sign, come to a complete stop, not a rolling stop, speed limits. You obey all that. When you hear the Lord got rules, uh, 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 see, I don't, uh, brother, uh, that's too rough. You need to really reread these gospels. Christ was called a hard man. That's right. Very hard. He was called a revolutionary. Huh? 
Flanders. What, did, uh, what you think they murdered him for? You don't murder Ned Flanders. <laughs> Diddly do, neighbors. Right. Love you. You don't murder nobody. Oh, he ain't no, there's no threat. He ain't no threat. You ain't murder him. But you gonna murder somebody that's that's against the status quo. And his own people, our people, sold him out. The hierarchy of our people. That's right. That in his in his day, the preachers and reverends of his day sold him out. But the average everyday common folk of our people loved him. Cause they, cause they knew, like that, they gotta be him. Ain't nobody else even doing work like this. Come on, brother, finish this up. Verse eight again. Remember the Sabbath day, and keep it holy. Six days thou labor in all thy works, but the seventh day of the Sabbath of the Lord thy God, in it thou shalt not do any work. See the seventh, the seventh day is is, is uh, sanctified to the Lord. You supposed to rest, recharge your battery, sit on back. You feel me? Get you some understanding in these scriptures right here. Huh? Spread the word. That's what you supposed to be doing. But what we do, most of us, what we do on Saturday, we go shopping. <laughs> we go shopping. So get ready to hit the club. You feel me? Come on, bro. Finish it up. Thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor thy manservant, nor thy maid servant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within the gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the seventh the Sabbath day and hallowed it. See that? The Lord blessed it and hallowed it. Well, they know you got your own day. Yeah, you worship the Lord every day, but what day is the Sabbath day? That's right. Seventh uh day. -huh. On every guy, pull, pull up. If you got a phone, pull up your phone and hit calendar. First day of the week is Sunday. Seventh day of the week is Saturday. On every calendar uh, around the globe. Right. But who got you in church on Sunday? Uh. That's a commandment of men. Yeah. See, you ain't even following the Lord. We just been saying in lip, in lip service. Oh, I love the Lord. Ooh, that's that and you know we need that, Matthew 15. Come on, brother. Verse 12. Honor the honor thy father and thy mother. See that? That's that's major right there. Honor your father and mother. See, that ain't happening today. That little cat in Chicago just had his mama murdered over some insurance money. Huh? Had his mama murdered over some insurance money. You ain't honoring your father and mother. See, back in this day, if you was a rebellious child, they'll take you to the elders and they bring you to death. Yeah, that's right. Huh? Sour, it wasn't no the child picked the uh, parent hotline up and called DFS. If you was rebellious and they couldn't control you, guess what? You get a brick shower. Body the little joker. See, because that ain't going on no more. Everybody think, oh, it's all, you know, it's all good. Now, it ain't all good. You still got to honor your father and mother. See that? Come on, bro. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which Thy Lord God giveth thee. See that if you honor your father and mother, do what they tell you to do, you'll live long. If you're gonna be taken out at 15 gang banging, 14 gang banging, you feel me breaking in people out. You see that? If you honor your father and mother, you it tell you you'll live long. Come on, brother. 13. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit a doge, thou shalt not steal. Thou should not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Right, that means you can't be lying on your people. Spreading rumors. See that? So what's wrong with any of these commandments we just read? Pick one. You can't, because if everybody was doing this, it would be world peace. Right, right. It'd be world peace. Just like if we kept the dietary law, we'd yeah. be healthy. We'd be dying right. up above our exactly. exactly. It's made to give us life. Come Come on, on, Verse 17. Yeah. Thou should not covet thy neighbor's house. Right. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. Right. Ooh. Thou. We got that real bad today. Right, right, right. You and Mrs. Jones got a thing going on. Huh? Yeah, again, I read that again. <laughs> yeah, you gotta read that one again, cause we done took that spirit on as a people. Man. We think it's cool to go holler at old boy, a uh, woman. Right. Took his girl. And you know from the judge, she said, "Oh yeah, my name's Mrs. Mrs. Jones." Huh? <laughs> then you like. So the next question you say, "Well, you happy? Oh, uh, you done went too far already." Right. She just told you she belonged to somebody else. You and Mrs. Jones got a thing going on though, huh? That's adultery according to the Bible. It's That's worthy right. of death. It's worthy of death. Come on, brother. Thou should not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou should not covet thy neighbor's wife. Thou should not, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant. 
nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is his not by neighbor. See, that ass mean his donkey, but today men are covered in other men's rear ends. That's against the Bible as well. That's a straight abomination. You see that? So who got that first John? So that's the Ten Commandments right there, brother. Those are the commandments of life. We need to constantly run them back. If you know your ABCs, or John 2. Yeah, your one, two, threes, your favorite song, your Pledge of Allegiance. Open up your Bible and learn the Ten Commandments. Because you're going to need to know them to get into the kingdom of heaven. That's right. And you're going to have to not only know them, but be living by them. That's right. That's what repent means. Turn back to the commandments of the Lord and walk them in faith of his son. Get a second witness today. Revelation chapter 22, verse 12. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, in giving every man according to give every man according to his works shall be. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, right. the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments. See, you get a blessing for doing them commandments. You know what I'm saying? And the brother been right here listening the whole time. See, and agreeing. See what I'm saying? All praise to the most high. Maybe a blessing to you, brother. All right, come on, brother. That they may have rights to the tree of life uh -huh. and may enter through the gates into the city. See? See, if you keep the commandments and do the commandments and constantly, I ain't saying you ain't never going to mess up, but get on back up and try to get better every day. See what I'm saying? Turn back. Paul even said, I die daily, man. It's, it's, it's a fight. It's a battle against your flesh and your spirit. It's just what it is. But you don't you don't start denying what it is, though. Uh, like the devil was out early. He was denying. He was sent here to deceive. See what I'm saying? Let's get that first John chapter 2. First John chapter 2, 3 through 7. Huh? The book of First John chapter 2, verse 3. And hereby. We do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. He that say I know him and keep it not his commandments is a liar. Is a liar. Is a liar. The Bible calls men liars. You say you know the Lord, but you don't keep his charge. You a liar. Come on, brother. And the truth is not in him. Is that New Testament? No, we, we, no, we get passed off as old as Old Testament only, brothers. Well, for y'all that don't know, we believe in the whole entire Bible. Front to back. Back to front. Uh, upside down, top to bottom. Hey, bit, the whole road. That's right. Feel me? And hey, we in the New Testament show. You still got to keep the commandments. They still apply. That means they weren't nailed to the cross with Christ then. He died so you can actually, so you can walk them as a new creature in the Lord. That's what that was about. So you can get, so you can have a way back to his father through him, as, as him being the example. All right, come on up. But whoso keepeth his word, in him verily is the love of God, perfect, perfected, hereby. Know, know we that we are in him. He that saith he abideth in him are himself also, so to walk, even as he walked. And so you supposed to walk as he walked. We in the Lord, we're supposed to walk like him. So y'all y'all remember the bumper sticker? What would WWJD? What would Jesus do? Jesus would keep the command. That's what he was banging on, you know what I'm saying? He was the commandments of men, you feel me? He was actually fighting against that. See, today the churches are forcing commandments of men on people just like the Pharisees was doing in ancient Jerusalem, bro. They straight tell you, you down because you ain't wash your hands. And the Lord like, look, what commandment is that? <laughs> what you that? Come on, man, that's straight madness, bro. Huh? Oh, I know you got some precepts, bro. Yeah, for, uh, for that lip service. Yeah, 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 go ahead and pull it. Matthews. 15. Y'all would die. Young Judah, what up, bro? Oh, he hypocrite. He what? He hypocrite. He, hold on. Today, if men stood out here and called me an hypocrite, you'd say, oh, God, it's not no. But that's the son of God right there calling men hypocrites. That's right. right. It's Jesus' word. Come on, bro. He hypocrites. Where did Isaiah prophesy of you, saying, this people draweth, this people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth. And honoreth me with their lips, but their hearts is far from me. See, that's the lip service. You feel me? Oh, I love the Lord. Ah. And, 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 you, and you know, ah. you feel me? Right. Now nah, the Lord say, look, man, these people draw near to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, 
But guess what? The heart ain't even with me. Straight up. They might. You got, in other words, this is lip service with you, but your mind is not uh, is, is not programmed to be doing thus saith the Lord. Right. Verse nine, All right, come on, bro. But in vain, they do worship me, teaching for doctrines that commandments of men. See, that's vain worship. You see what I'm saying? Whether, whether you talking about Sunday service, which ain't the Sabbath, whether you talking about Christmas tree ducking, uh, which can't be even sanctioned or even found in the Bible sanctioned by the Lord right. or Easter egg bunnies right. or Halloween or Thanksgiving or this fake New Year that came around the Bible tell you the New Year in the spring when life is coming back to the earth see these are traditions of men you see that 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 we that they have been enforced on us as if they're commandments of God and you doing that ain't, ain't adding a stripe to you getting into the kingdom not one that's why we need to get back to the commandments man that's what the repentance is Get back to the commandments of God. Walk them in faith to Christ. You got something else, bro? I know you got plenty. Of plenty. Come on, let's get it. This is Isaiah chapter 29, verse 13. Let's get it. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth, with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear toward me is taught, by the precept of men. Woo, you heard that? Boy, that's a chop right there. He say, man, the fear of the Lord of me is taught by the precept of men. Oh, men are still lording over the flock of God, man. It ain't supposed to be like that. All us brothers, man. You feel me? Ain't one of us over nobody. We all brothers. Elbow to elbow in this spiritual warfare. You know what I'm saying? Any of you bumped into any of these brothers at any time, they'd have been able to go into the scripture and break it down. We come together on the Sabbath, That's we study, right. but all week we get it in. Study you feel me? And we come out here not charging nothing because it ain't about all that, man. We try here to warn our people turn back before the destruction because the destruction will come. That's true, man. No, it tell you that in Nahum, hey, even though it tarry, wait, hey, you feel me? It's coming, even though it tarry, uh, wait for it because it's coming. No doubt, we need that revelation for the boy. Book of Psalms, 78, verse 36. Nevertheless, they did flatter him with their mouths and lied unto, lied unto him with their tongues, for their hearts was not right with him. Neither were they steadfast in his covenant. Uh, see that? Uh, their hearts was far from the Lord. They weren't steadfast in his covenant. His covenant is the commandments he gave Israel. We are the children of Israel. If you descend from the transatlantic slave trade, if your forefathers was picking cotton, you are an Israelite according to the Bible. You are not a Gentile. And we put money on the line. Like somebody come show us in the Bible that the Negro is Gentiles. Can't find it. Because it ain't in there. Everything that point to you in the Bible point to you being God's chosen people. And we are in this condition for a reason because we went against them same commandments. Right? Somebody got some somebody got preach up? We finna show how yeah. good these Jews is. Yeah. yeah. Then we need Ecclesi we need Ecclesi one of the brothers, Ecclesiastes eight and eleven. We need that too. And then uh somebody hold Isaiah twenty six and ten. Uh, I got that Isaiah huh? And Ecclesiastes eight and eleven. What's wrong with you? I'll pray once again. All praises to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The God of the Bible, the God of our forefathers. Who are we? We are the children of Israel. We represent the 12 scattered tribes that the Bible speak of. And whom, who you know is Jesus Christ is coming to redeem. But guess what? We got to get back to the protocol. Back to the scripture. So we can be redeemed. Because if we hold on to these heathens, we're going to be took out with them. That's right. Exactly. And that's just what it is. If you of another nation and want to work righteousness, then that's what you need to be doing. All right? And understanding who we are as a people and your role in the coming kingdom. Your role is you're going to be a servant. That's just, just what it is. That's right. All right, who, who got it? What you got? I got that John 14. Let's get it, bro. John 14, verse 22. Ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship, but salvation is of the Jews. Read that again. Ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship. For salvation is of the Jews. See that? The Lord himself. Salvation is of the Jews. You see that? We are the, we represent the 12 scattered lost tribes that the Bible speak of. Jew right. comes from Judah. That's right. That's the fourth tribe. That's the remember Christ was crucified, king of the Jews. Huh? And we all know if you read the Bible with a little intelligence, you know he was a man of color. But will he her? Huh? Dark skin? So if, it, if he's the king of the Jews, what that make the Jews? 
See, today you think Jewish and Israeli and Judaism, that ain't what we talk. Because that wasn't even, that's not in the Bible right, nowhere. Right. Israelite is in the Bible. Commandments is in the 